like adding melamine to milk to appear to boost its protein content, dodgy operators can add compounds to ordinary honey to make it appear to be manuka. And New Zealand's manuka honey industry fears that it's only a matter of time before someone tries it on. This is so important because there's products already on the marketplace trying to mimic the, the unique activity behind this manuka honey and they're an adulterant. Uh, they're actually illegal. It's illegal to call the product honey if you add it. And so they purely there to mimic, to confuse the consumer, and they do not represent the health benefits of the product. And industry scientists at Otago University agree that New Zealand has a lot to lose. So what's at risk for New Zealand here? There have been stories in the past where Australian honey was perceived to be not authentic. Uh, Australia, Australian honey prices have been steady for the last 10 years. It hasn't, haven't increased as New Zealand honey has. So there, there's lots at stake, not only for the individual honey uh, producer, with the honey industry, but also for New Zealand in general. So Otago University has been busy figuring out a way to detect counterfeit Manuka honey. But first of all, they had to figure out what exactly goes into ours. Where the tree is, where the flower grows, where the plant grows, there's a local rainwater, the precipitation, has a different, what we call, isotopic composition at different locations around New Zealand. And that's pretty characteristic for a certain area. Also, where the plant grows, its roots go into the soil and it takes up minerals and uh, elements from the soil. And we can use those signals combined to find which area is characteristic. We can say, make a maps for the whole of New Zealand. Yeah. We can actually make maps from the world, and that is partly what we do. We're almost like climate scientists, but we use the climate technology to actually say what and predict what, what is in, in, in a pot of honey. But devising ways to isolate the molecules in the Manuka honey, which have the propensity to be counterfeited, has not been so easy. It's involved months and months of trial and error, as it has not been done before. The industry has now established labs abroad to test honey to ensure it is Manuka. We do interventions overseas in the UK and in Europe and we get honey samples from New Zealand back and we find out that most of them actually are authentic and so we're kind of happy what, what's happening at the moment. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.